Hi, it's Cayman Reynolds, and it is the perfect spring day. A tiny bit of nectar coming in. We're starting to super up some hives over here. The bee yard's a mess, but we're, we're pulling splits, and this is a question I get a lot, though. I came across this frame and some dead-out equipment, and in this yard, I lost a hive uh, due to starvation. Went on a trip. I thought I left them enough. It was in February, and I lost about four frames of bees or so, and check this out. This is a question, again, I get all the time. What do we do with combs like this? You can freeze them if you want to to protect them, but what do you do after that? This comb is only two years old. It's still got all kinds of life left. If you're needing to expand, I would use this comb up to 10 years, and I've never had any problems doing that, but all we've got to do is you know scrape around here and I'm gonna stick it into a strong colony. You wouldn't want to give this to a colony that is weak. You can see where there are several bees down into the cells. This is a classic case of starving. You'll see some of this and you'll also see a pile of dead bees usually on the bottom board and maybe a little bit on the top of the frames and, and it's really unfortunate. Had I just taken a little bit of a sugar brick or fondant, we could have saved this colony, uh, but I was not around that week. Laurel and I were away. <laughs> Anyhow, this comb's got a lot of value left, but don't give it to a little one. This is a nice big colony right here. It doesn't look that big, but we have them broke down in half. Here's the top part, and we are taking that off for a split because it is just too big, and they're thinking about swarming, and so we are just going to break this colony. Not quite down in half. It looks that way. This is going to get the lion's share of the nurse bees but this is gonna keep all of the forager bees, and I'm going to leave four good frames, possibly five frames of brood if it's a little iffy on a couple of the frames, not so solid, and we are going to add a excluder and then two honey supers to this, and then come back, oh, in 10 to 14 days and see how they're filling those supers. But I'm just going to place this right down in here. We don't wanna split the brood up, so I have brood, 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 brood. These two don't have the greatest frames of brood. So it's about a total of four really good frames of brood. These are very solid. Pollen, mostly empty. Nectar, uh, nectar and pollen right here. And now this. And this is gonna give that queen even more room to lay. The queen was on this second frame over here. I'm gonna scoot all this back together, throw an excluder on, throw the honey supers on. And we are going to save that comb right there. It's going to bring so much more value to our operation. Next to the bees, combs are your most valuable asset. Now, what we're going to do with this is we're just going to take it to a different location. We're going to drop a queen cell into this. And hopefully that queen will come back. So we're not counting on all of them. So we're going to drop about 40 queen cells with this round. And if I can get 30 of them to come back, we will come back a little over three weeks after we've dropped the cells, any that have queens obviously stay, and the ones that don't have queens will get paper combined back to the ones that did have a queen, so we don't have any lane worker situations. It's a percentage game. It's nature. Not everything works out, but we're going to increase our operation. We're going to prevent swarming. Are we going to get quite as big of a honey crop off of this colony? Probably not, but if this year is good, we'll get at least two medium supers on the low end, possibly three mainly because we have combs, combs, combs. So don't waste that comb, even though there's some dead bees in it and it's brown. Don't listen to those guys on Facebook. They're like, oh my goodness, that comb's dark. Burn it. Uh, a good queen will darken up a comb in a year or so, especially if you're in the deep south where they lay a long time. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one.